Hey guys, this video is how to make gaskets at home for your engine repairs. This is such a useful skill to have across the board, whether it be a two stroke or four stroke, whether it be a large piece of equipment, small piece of equipment, whether it be old or new, it doesn't matter. It's a really useful skill to have under your belt. So the first thing is what materials should we use for it? Well, they actually make a purpose built gasket paper. They come in different thicknesses and they also have different properties. Some are fuel resistant, some are just oil resistant, and you can even get them with high temperature resistant. If you don't have this, it's not the end of the world. And in fact, you can use regular card from your cereal box, your tea box, or a bag box, and in many circumstances, be absolutely fine. Today, I'm gonna to use the gasket paper. However, if you decide to go with just regular card like that, I do recommend going over with a gasket dressing compound. This is Permatex Aviation Former Gasket Number 3. It will just improve the sealing of that gasket. It will help with the longevity. And uh, even if I'm using proper gasket material, I do still apply this because in future, when I come to take the engine apart, this stops the gasket from sticking. So we'll get down, we'll get into a top-down view, and we'll get right into making a cylinder-based gasket for a vintage still FS85. So if we've got the original gasket, it can't be saved, but we can use it as a, a template, then fantastic. But if you haven't got that luxury, the first thing that we want to do is to take our, in this case, cylinder head that we're gonna use as a template, and I, I need to remove this amount first. Now, a real good tip is to get your thumb dirty whether it be on an old bolt a rag it doesn't matter just place a piece of paper on top and just gently push down and rub your hand over it keeping it as still as you can i do the same this side and that's going to give us a rough shape now what i want to do because i want it to be circular i'm going to turn it 90 degrees i'm going to repeat that process oh repeat that process again so i'm going to find those two edges that's just going to give me a very close circle in which to work with. Otherwise, I'll be guessing. That's going to be absolutely fine. And now I'll just go around with a pen and I'll go around the circumference. My suggestion is to keep it as tight as you can. My preference for cutting out gaskets is a utility knife. Um, I'll show you this side, even though I'm not left-handed. I hold the knife in my hand. I place my thumb against the side of the knife and on the paper that I'm working on. And I pivot and cut. And what that allows is a really tight, really clean cut. If you're doing scissors, you often get a jaggedy edge and you can't get that tight into the corner. Because I'm right-handed, it's gonna be covered for you. So I'm gonna do that quickly and I'll bring you right back. So holes cut out now. Place that over the cylinder in this case. And hopefully it's a nice snug fit, which it is. Perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. And if I now put my thumb like that, on my fingers, which are also a bit dirty, you can really see exactly where we need to cut out. Stay still. And there we have it. It really is that simple. So what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna cut out, while it's all in this piece, these inside bits that can otherwise be a bit tricky to do. So I've got the insides out, so if I now place that down the right way, that now makes a perfect shape. I'll just double check in here that I've got right up to the, no, I just need to go in there. That side's good. What I might just do to give this a bit more structural integrity, and I think the original one ha it does here, is it has the extra thickness going along. So with a ruler, I'm just going to carefully add in a little bit of basically gasket along here, along here and here, and that's gonna give it a bit more stability and less likely to twist or break when I'm making it. We're gonna take hold of our gasket paper now. We're gonna stick it down. Very, very thin strips of blue tape is really a good way of doing it. And you can just do that again with a utility knife. Now, the reason why I said go thin is because the thicker the tape that you use, 
the wider it's going to take up. And then when you take the tape off, there's going to be a gap in here. So if we go thin, the gap will be small and there'll be less guesswork, especially useful for intricate gaskets. And when I make gaskets, I try and work from the inside out. And that always means that we've got the stability of the paper on the outside. If I worked and cut the outside out first and I start to cut the inside, it'll want to twist on me and move around. So having this extra paper here just helps to keep things rigid. So the same way as before, I'm gonna go in with a utility knife and uh, I'll just speed this up, but at least you know how I do it. Right, there we go, that's done. The holes are punched. Really simply now I could go over and put all that detail in. I'm not gonna waste my time. Take a ruler. Of course, this is a very simple gasket and it might be the same case that you were. You've got a very simple one to do and it's really that easy. However, I've done very, very uh, intricate gaskets in the past. Case gasket for the 07 steel chainsaw is crazy and here's a photo of that and moment of truth for this gasket is it going to fit let's have a look hopefully it's going to be really nice and snug and not loose and oh yeah loose and perfect look at that there we go i'll just go in there with the utility knife just to make sure that uh I'm just pressing down here, make sure everything's flat. And it's a tiny touch tight, but that's gonna stretch. It's not gonna be an issue at all. You don't wanna tear the gasket, of course, but uh, in that case, we have a perfect gasket. It's gonna do the job. As far as making gaskets, it's that simple. If you've got the original, you can stick it down, you can copy it out. If you haven't, place a piece of paper on top, use a dirty thumb. If you haven't got a dirty thumb, just use a pen and scribe out the outside. I always work from the inside out, punch your holes and uh, just check the fit that it's all nice and then finish off with a little bit of sealant. It will go a long way and it will really help to uh, improve the sealing capabilities and disassembly in the future if you come to take it apart. So there we go. I hope the little tip helped and it's really simple. You can do it at home. It can save you a lot of money. It can actually save you a lot of frustration as well and expense if you're buying your gaskets and uh, having them shipped in. So there we go. Catch you on the next one.